What kind of intro can we have for this? Um, Hello, um, you're the professional. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems for good editing. Drive Drive on. Off. Stop. Driveway. Oh, driveway. Drop car. Oh. Sweets. I've okay. got some. We can do a snack wars kind of thing okay. for every minor. Love this. <laughs> For every minor, for every minor, you're gonna, serious. you're gonna get a sweet. Wait, you, that's like a reward. But for every minor, I get a sweet. For every good thing, for every good thing you do, I get a sweet. You get a sweet. Which one? I get that one because I'm vegetarian. You get the candy kittens. Yes, candy kittens. Jamie Lang sweets. <laughs> Thanks. And I get the Natural Confectionery Co. Jelly Snakes. Those are really good. My friend loves those. Okay. She says they're amazing. But you can't eat these because you're vegetarian. Yeah. Save pork the, gelatin. Save the animals. Save the animals. Is it save the animals? Save the Is turtles. Save the turtles. Okay, cool. <laughs> so stand by for this. What is up, guys? Nicole's in the house. Hello. Boom. And <laughs> you're actually a learner driver. Yes. You are actually learning to drive. Your test is actually in Morden, Morden. where we are right now. Yes. And it's in, when's your test? I can't say, it's a secret. Oh, okay. It's a secret. Sick. Soon or it's not tomorrow, is it like Bobby? No, it's not like Bobby. It's okay. not like Bobby. Um, I'll it's say it's October, really November. October, Sooner. yeah. Okay, October. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to say because your I family's don't say, watching. I can't, yeah, no, no, I can't say. <laughs> and you don't want anyone to know. <laughs> no. No pressure. Um, <laughs> we're so here for this. Yes. Thank you. Of course. For bringing sweets. This isn't even set up. Nicole turned up with sweets. <laughs> Swear down. Of course. <laughs> You're a legend. Well, Thank you. Of course. I've watched like so many of your videos. It's like I'm being a bit starstruck at the moment. Oh, you thank know? you. Well, it's just me. Um, and we're just going to like, drive around and yeah. chat and you're going to... It's vibes. It's vibes, yeah. It's going to yeah. be mad vibes and energy. <laughs> I'm not going to help you with your driving, but we'll chat. And if you do something wrong, it'll pop up on the screen to show you when um, Nicole's done something wrong and I'll be able to eat snakes. <laughs> Perfect. So, shall we go? Yeah. I'm going to ask you a vehicle safety question. Have you advised these? I have... A little bit. Okay. I wouldn't, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to toot my horn and say I've done it all, but Do I Do you know have, what you need? Uh, you've got, well, you, you've got one show me, one tell me question, and then I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what you need to do, though? If you haven't revised it, do you know what you need to do? Oh, yeah. Click over there. The video. Click over there. This one. That right? one. Yeah, over yeah. there. <laughs> Get the Click it now. Get the video in your life. So. <laughs> I've watched it, actually. Have you? I have. Good. Literally this morning, actually. Okay. Very good. Bang in. So let me ask you a hard one then. Okay. Um, how do you check if your power steering I knew you were going to ask me that one. Before you start driving. I literally revised that one because that was the one I forgot. So oh, no way. when so, the engine is off, yeah. the steering should feel heavy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I swear, yeah, it should feel really heavy, but when you turn the car on, it should feel quite nice and light like that. Oh, good answer. Yeah. Yeah, really good answer. Nice. Well done. Uh, Nicole? Yes? When you're ready, drive, drive on. off. Okay. Going past more than test centre on the left. It's exactly. excited. I am excited. You know, I, wanna, I don't want that green licence anymore. How long has it been since you got that provisional? Oh, like years now. Oh. What happened there? Is your biting point a lot, low, a lot yeah. lower in your car? Yes, it is a lot lower, so I got a bit confused. I was like, I can hear the engine, but it's just not doing what I want it to do. Okay, nice mirror check. <laughs> Loving your work so far. Um, technically, it is my right of way. Be because there. there's hazards on both sides. Yeah. No one's got priority. Oh, okay. If there was a car just on their side and he was trying to overtake it, then we'd have priority. Mm hmm. Have you done mock tests before? I have, yes, with my instructor. I've done a couple. Okay, how did they go? They went well. I've passed them. Not to brag, I've passed them. Okay. I think once I had... After a... 200 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Now I'm gonna... Go left on the roundabout Drop and down take the again. first exit. Oh, 
the ice cream van. Nice, that was really good timing. Oh, we're going very... Oh, we're turning? What are we doing? I don't know. See, I don't know if that might have been a bit of a mistake, but what I was... had time to sort of take their priority. Because okay. I had a parked vehicle on my side, so technically I probably should have left them. But they also had a parked vehicle on their side? Yes. Yeah. After 200 yards, Let's pull up on the left, left in a safe roundabout place. And take the first exit, then oh. bear right. Mm. Okay, cool. Um, so when you're going through meeting situations, try and plan it a little bit more in advance. And remember when you're on a driving test, good advice, that you're not in a rush. Yes. Other people are in a rush. So you might have like that white van who was coming towards yeah. us, who might see your L plates and just be like, oh, I'm going to speed up. I'm not going to let that person through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you, if you don't have priority, just drop ha- back, drop back, position yourself so that you're clearly giving them way. Maybe your body language gives a good indication of what you're doing next. Yes. So when you're pulled back, they can see, or pull back and slowing down, they can see that you're giving them right of way. Yeah. What you did, though, which is okay still, you move to the middle, so your body language is displaying, I'm no, coming I'm, through, mate. Yeah. I'm not stopping. <laughs> and so what did they do? As soon as you moved to the middle, what did you see they, they do? They pulled to the left. Got it, yeah. Yeah, or to the right. But right. they might not do that, so... Exactly. We're not in a rush. A bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, I like what you did with that because you showed that you were confident. Boom. Boom. What is it? Oh, it's one of them hula hula girls. Hula. Oh, nice. Like, you know, the, the ones... Hawaii. The... Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. So, it was good what you did, mm. but that's happened a couple of times now, so I just thought we'd stop and talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's drive on. After 90 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, then bear right. Look at the potholes. That's one thing I have not yet mastered, potholes. Driving around them, you mean? (laughs) I just drive through them. Then we've got a right turn. Can we go down? Awesome. Let's stop again on the left in a safe place. Oh! Oh. (laughs) Oopsies. (laughs) Um, okay. I'm having a snake. Okay. Why am I having a snake? I took over the curb. You did? What was happening there? You were concentrating on something else? Yeah. You forgot to turn back? Exactly, yeah, yeah. Tell me one more thing that went wrong right now. Mm. God, do I, I feel really oblivious now. Uh-huh. Did I not check my mirrors? Something else. Getting the oh, camera. Cami cam's coming out. Oh no. Oh no, is it a... What? Oh, I'm so confused. Driveway. Oh, driveway. Dropped curb. Oh. Sometimes the examiners say park on the left behind the car, like behind that black car. Okay. Don't worry about the driveways, but if they ask you to stop on the left in a safe place, you will no. actually get tickets for parking on drop curb. a drop curb in yeah. real life. So they'll give you a minor for that on your driving test. Okay. Oh, God. You did that on purpose, right? Yeah, yeah, for you to get a from, snake. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Drive on when you're ready. Cool. He'll start. Oh. That another one for you. I'm so not used to this clutch. There we go. 
Should have done a six point yards. check. Turn right. <laughs> have another look at the sat nav. Have you used one of these before? No. Not fully. Oh, no, sorry. I'm on the next one. You now haven't used I... a TomTom -tom before? No. Okay, it's important not to just listen to the voice prompts. Have look a at, look. Look at the screen as well. Turn right. Now. Because they give you a prompt as well when you have to... They give you a really early prompt. And then a bit. To focus you, and then a later one as well. Oh, there's a van coming. So then again, when you're just driving along or you've just taken a junction, have another look at the screen. Yes. And then now you know where you're going next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The voice prompts are quite unhelpful, really. In 300 yards, turn right, she said. Like, how far is that? Where's that yeah. junction? 300 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. There could be like three or four junctions right. close together. Exactly. So you don't know which one you're taking. You have to look at the screen. Yeah. We've got a cyclist. I'm just going to overtake. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Then. Turn right. Rose Hill Roundabout. Rose Hill Roundabout. Normally people hate this roundabout, but it's quite easy. Like the traffic lights make it really easy. Yeah. Do you like this one? I do like it. And also the lanes aren't confusing because it makes sense. You know, you've got to be in the first lane if you're coming out, second if you're going to the second exit. It makes sense. This roundabout to me just makes a lot of actual sense. It's nice and easy because we're going left first exit, but if we were taking a different exit, it would be a little bit more complicated. But yeah. again, the lanes are there to make it easy for you. Exactly. You just have to understand how to use them. Maybe I'll do a video on Rose Hill Roundabout. You should. Should I? Yes. Okay. If you want a video on Rose Hill Roundabout, let me know in the comments. Thanks. Oh, we've got a... Is it, is it? It is for us, isn't it? How can you tell it's for you or not? Not sure? Not sure. There'll be a white stop line on the floor. Oh. The traffic lights control the stop line and that tells you where to stop and whether to stop okay. or go. Yeah. If there's no white line on the floor, the traffic lights aren't for you. Yeah, okay. After 400 yards, turn right. 400 yards. So we've got to change lanes like that, switch that off. And we are turning right, so I can switch on this as I'm slowing down. Turn right. Go into first gear, so I'm ready. So just as an example, you can see the white stop line on the floor now. Yes. Which the traffic light is controlling. Yes. Once you're past that white stop line, even if you can still see the red traffic light in front of you, yeah. it doesn't apply to you anymore. You need to keep going. Yeah. Because there's some um, traffic sign, uh, sorry, lights that you can turn, but the second ones don't actually... Yeah, like this one. So if we were turning... So if we'd set off now, but then the light turns red, that light's not controlling us anymore, right? Yes. Cool. I'll let you concentrate on this. So I'm using the light changing to turn. Ooh. Zebra crossings, I don't see anyone. Loving the commentary. I know. Very good. Do you know where I learnt it from? Where? That video up there. The commentary video? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. See, I'm doing plugs for you. Thank Quickers, you. I'm media trained like that. 
the commentary is literally the, the technique, it's the secret sauce to passing your driving test. Yeah. Everybody should do it. You don't have to do a full football style running commentary, but just say what you see. Yeah. Keeps you focused, lets the examiner know what's going on, what you're thinking. Exactly. And we're going straight ahead here. Oh, it's 30 from here. Okay, right turns on traffic lights are difficult. You smashed that, and for plugging my commentary video. Thank you. Thank you. Lotus. Oh, this is, I should do sweets on more mock mm. tests. Nicole, you're the best. I'm the best. <laughs> do you know what? People should bring you sweets. They should, thank you. They should bring you sweets. I'm putting that on Instagram. They can do better. <laughs> do better, everyone. I'll take gold bars if you don't have sweets. Mm. Or winning lottery numbers. Oh, okay. You can bring me some of those. Just testing where my biting point is. Smooth. Do you know your driving is so smooth? <laughs> Thank you. I try. <laughs> There's no jerky at all. You were telling me about your driving instructor. Yes, How Gordon. Is, Gordon's really good. Gordon from Bill Plant? Yes. Bill Plant Gordon. Hit him up, honestly. Well, and you. Thanks. But Everyone. if you're in Morden, then is he from Morden? Where's he from? He's from Wimbledon, but he covers uh, Morden. I think he does Mitcham every now and again. Okay. He does try and cover like as many areas around. To help as many people as possible. Exactly. Yeah. Tell me about your instructor. Why is he so good? He, he's been doing the job for years, like 40 years. Wow. Yeah. That's older than I've been alive. <laughs> That's crazy. After 300 yards, and, go left on the roundabout oh. and take the first exit. And he teaches you how to deal with a lot of situations really well. He taught me how to drive so smoothly as well. Nice. Because he just doesn't like it. And I was like, that's fair enough, you know. I wouldn't want to be jerked around if I have driving lessons all the time. Oh, no. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Do you know why I'm eating snakes? I don't think I checked my mirror Not well that. enough. Oh, is he going to cross? No. Oh. That's being in the wrong gear at the wrong time. The signal was way too early. Oh. You're listening to the voice prompt. She said turn left on the roundabout and then you reacted straight away instead of looking at the sat nav and seeing how far away that, yes, that roundabout was. Yes, I should do that, was. yeah. I should keep a look at when she prompts, I should... Then look at the screen, yeah. Yeah. This is why we're doing a mock test. Exactly. Iron that out. You're going to be looking at the sat nav loads. Yes. On your real test. Yes. Because it'll stick in your mind. Exactly. A lot of things, after you've made a mistake, it sticks in your mind really, really well. It's a school area, so I'm guessing this is a 20. Oh, oh. Went straight to first, but I should have gone to second. After 200 yards, turn right, then take the second left. So I've got a bit more time to think about it. Have a look around. Oh. Is that too early as well? A little bit. A little for, bit. For where the traffic lights are, where would you normally signal? Like maybe around here? Yeah, perfect. Turn right, then take the second left. So she said, take the second, second left. left. Now we're going to look at the screen to see where that actually is. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was going to do that, but I am in the 20 zone. Did hit 23, but yeah. you know. Ooh. After 200 yards, turn left. I'm gonna drop down a gear. Good idea. And because I'm turning pretty much turn now. Left. Oh god. Reversing round the corner. Old manoeuvre. Oh god, please.
So this road has a lot of meeting points here. And I've got priority. Oh, of course you're going to take my priority. Sorry. Would Gordon be like, ooh? No, he wouldn't do that, but okay. he would just sort of go, next time, line it up a bit better. It's horrible oh. though. See, I feel like that's just scratch something on the bottom. The car is a bit like spring. After okay. 100 yards, turn right. After 100 yards, so I can signal. Oh, do that. Turn right. And because this is a bit of a tighter corner, I'm going to go into first. Okay, stop on the left before that big black van under the tree. Yes. So because I've given you a specific space, then don't worry about the driveway and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're rushing. Okay. Yeah. Because when you said I'm going through a school zone, you still went through at the maximum speed of the road, which yeah. is 20 miles an hour. You even went above the maximum speed limit a little bit. You went up to 22, which yeah. isn't going to be a massive problem. But going on the fact that it's a school zone and it's a really narrow exactly. road, you've got cars coming towards you and cars parked on the left, much slower. And you've got more time then to see the sat-nav. Yes. You've got more time Taking to think time. about what to do and what to do next. If the road's massive and wide, you don't have to think about so much. Exactly, yeah. Going through that school zone, you were like dealing with parked cars, dealing with oncoming traffic, dealing with the sat-nav. There were junctions around as well. Mm, yeah. If you slow down more, then mm. you have more time exactly. to think. When we came, turned left and came into this zone, then there was an oncoming vehicle and then the Asda van came through. You saw the sign that said your priority, but you were still blasting through really fast. Yeah. What if that 4x4 four four car had come through the gap? Yeah. Then what would you have done? You would have got stuck. Exactly, yeah, Which would yeah. have failed your driving test. Okay. Because there was something else you could have done about it, which was hang back and wait. Yeah. So, yeah, there was parked cars on both sides, so nobody had priority, but you still blasted through. Yeah. And pretty fast. So remember that you're on a driving test and you're not in a rush. Yeah, 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 taking my time. Take it, take your time a little bit more and perhaps consider you were lucky again because that 4x4 four four didn't blast through. Yeah. But if they did and you met in the middle and one of you had to reverse game over. Yeah. So we don't want that to happen. Exactly. We don't want to be like, oh, letting everyone through. The examiner's going to be like, oh, I'm never going to get back for a cup of tea. <laughs> this way, come on. But actually, if it's busy, slow down. Yeah. Like, consider all of the options and then go with the safest one. Yes. Okay. A bit slower. Um, thanks. No rush. Yes. <laughs> do you know what we're going to do? Parallel park. Yeah, I'll fetch my mind. Love a parallel park. <laughs> so what we're going to do is use this van in front to move off and park, park okay. again. I'm a bit close. I think I'm going to reverse a little bit. There's a car coming. I'm going to put on my signal. Oh, I still didn't do the six point trick, did I? I'm quite close, aren't I? And I'm at an angle. Okay. I'm going to try and use the angle. That is in reverse, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hold on, okay. <laughs> there we go. That's a bit better. Oh, 
sorry. Very close. Uh, parallel. Now we're parallel. Whoa. Okay. Is that? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> um, I had a Oops. bit of a fear that I was going to go a bit iffy, but I Look at how I close to the curb you are. I actually can't get the camera in enough to see the gap. <laughs> but there is one. Okay. We're not on the curb. I'll show you. I'll show we'll you. We're 360. I'll show you we're not on the curb. There's the wheel. Not on the curb. And that's how close we are to the curb. That was amazing. Um... For parking, yes, but not for observation. Yeah, observation. I should have done a six point check just before I set off. Yeah, and the same every time you reverse six point check, exactly. Yeah, yeah for sure. So that's a problem, but easily fixed. Yeah, if your parking was bad but your observation was good, that would mm. be hard to fix. Yeah, all you have to do take your time, look around more. Yeah, before you do your maneuver, run it through in your head first. Yes. Like, okay, what am I going to do here? I'm going to pull out next to the... Okay, then I'm going to revert. Okay, then I'm going to check around and then, yeah. Yeah. Run through the list before you set off. Mm-hmm. So you know what you're doing. Exactly. And you don't forget anything. And you pass your driving test. Yes. Okay. Fingers crossed. Oh. It's just giving away minors, like easy minors. Yeah. Hard stuff. Oh. Parking. Easy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know I'm checking around when I'm actually doing it, mm. but I, I but don't But you know went why. over that for whole family before, because yeah. you didn't look behind before you were first. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Uh, cool. Nicole. Yes. Drive on, and let's keep on going. So I'm going to signal. Just so you know, the six point check's not essential when you're just pulling away from the curb. Okay. You just have to check your roadside blind spot. Okay. Unless the pavement's really busy. But when you reverse, you need to know what's going on behind your car. Yes. Yeah. The thing is, I on feel like side. it's safer. Left the road, turn left, then take the third left. I feel like it's turn safer left, for me to do a six point check left. when I set off though. Just so you remind Yeah, just to, to remind when you're myself, yeah. Can we get over it? Ooh! After 300 yards, smooth. turn left, then turn right. Is that an early, early change of gears? Yeah. I was barely at 16. That's okay, they won't give you thoughts for that. Okay. But you're moving around a lot on the road without checking for cyclists and motorbikes. Yes. such a good idea. <laughs> this was such a good idea. This was the best idea ever. Oh, I don't like how close. After 80 yards, turn right. Candy kittens and jelly snakes. Turn right. Fantastic. Drop down to first gear. But I had enough power. Oh, 
At the end of the road, turn left, then turn right. Ooh, this is what turn I mean. Left, then turn right. but I can make it out. Would you say that was really fast accelerating? No, it was good, but you need, sometimes you do need to accelerate fast. Yeah. Like when you're pulling After out and you want to get yards, ahead of a car. Turn right. Or yes. onto a roundabout, sometimes you do need to accelerate fast. Yeah. So I've got to change lanes. There's no one. A quick blind spot check would have been good in this situation. Sometimes when you're on a motorway. 400 yards, okay. turn right, then cross the roundabout and take the third exit. Like if you're changing from lane one into lane two, there might be a car in your blind spot changing from lane three into lane two. Yes. But there shouldn't be anything in your blind spot on a two lane road. Okay. Turning right. Turn right, then cross the roundabout and take the third exit. God, it's sunny today. It's really nice. It's really yes. nice weather. Yeah. Can we, um, for being the smoothest driver who hasn't <laughs> got a driving you. license? You're okay? Composing myself. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm trying to keep everything in mind, you know. Ooh. Should have done that earlier. It was the third exit, but it's straight on. So we keep to the left. Cross the roundabout and take the third exit. Then you have reached your destination. Mm, I don't know where they're going. Let's stop on the left, but don't mount the curb like these guys. Find okay. anywhere to stop off. I didn't check my mirror. Oh, you didn't signal either. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Snake's coming out. Thank you very much. Oh God. For the Why opportunity. Why are you with me today? To, um, I just wanted to say the roundabout was really good. The roundabout was amazing. You kept to the outside, which is really important. Yeah. And, and like not just not on the inside. You were all the way on the outside. Yeah. So it's unquestionable whether you know where to position yourself on the roundabout. Yeah. Fantastic. The right turn as well was fantastic. You were really smooth on the steering, really smooth on the pull away. You took the gap and timed it perfectly. Yeah. Um, Just that last bit here. <laughs> I need to learn to pull to the left properly. Um, yeah. But Not you've just done whenever it. I feel. You've done it loads of times before, mm -hmm. but you do need to think things out in, exactly. in the process. Yes. So like, I said pull to the left and you were obviously thinking about something else like where am I going to stop? Yeah, so I didn't signal so because didn't of that. do the correct, okay, check my mirrors, do my signal, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, that's the end of independent, that's the what? That's independent. The, the, the independent, <laughs> that's the end of independent driving. So yep. I'm going to direct you from here. Cool. The next thing I want you to do is perform an emergency stop. Okay. When I you was, haven't done one in a while. Because I, I actually haven't done one in a while. Uh, when I raise my right hand and say stop, you're going to stop the car as quickly yep. and as safely as possible. Let's take that down because that will fly all over the place. And boom, drive on when you're ready. Oh, this 
so stupid. I can't. Yours releases when you just press, when yeah. you bring the clutch up, but this one releases when you bring the clutch up and press the gas. Yes. Cool. Oh, there's someone coming. At least I saw them. What if the instructor said, oh, all right, we're going to do an emergency stop. However, there was a car behind and you just missed like an opportunity. Oh. Good question. If there's a car behind, they'll tell you to cancel the emergency stop and drive on as normal. Stop! <sighs> Thanks, I won't ask you to do that again. Drive on. God, that was scary. Do you know, I get so scared. My legs are literally like shaking. Which packet of sweets am I reaching for? I should have done a six point check. Making sure. Oh, Francis, do you know what? You, uh, straight on? Yeah. I'm thinking your cameras and you ruined my driving. <laughs> do you know what? I'm really glad I did that though. Because get it wrong with me? Yes. No problem. We'll talk about it, we'll laugh, we'll joke, it's fine. Yeah. And we're safe together because I'm in control of the car. Yes. And I'm looking out anyway. But get it wrong on your driving test and you've just binned your driving license. Exactly. So, like, actually, at the end of the day... It's better off It's better I'm... to get it. If you're going to make that mistake, make it with me on a mock test. We'll talk about it. We'll walk, walk around how to fix it. Yes. And then you won't do it again on your real test. Um, let's go right at the mini roundabout. He does not look very happy. Oh, how do I... So this is a really annoying corner. Because you sort of have to go over it anyways, but a you don't want to... Which is okay, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't want to take the whole thing with you. <laughs> Tell me about Bulgaria. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. The nature, the people, everyone is so friendly. Like, Love that. the society is a lot warmer than England, you know? Because in England, people just sort of nod at you and just sort of acknowledge your being. In London, yeah. But yeah. when you Not go so up much. north, yeah, the people are much yeah. more friendly. It's, it's a warmer society, I'll say that much, in Bulgaria. And that's what I love about it. Shout out to Vicky, who's also Bulgarian. Shout out Vicky, Shout who was on the Vicky. channel before. Yes. Watch Vicky, you're Vicky's mate, right? Yes, I'm Vicky's best mate. Where's oh. Vicky's video? Up there. Up here, yes. <laughs> Watch it too. It's Watch really it good. too, because hers is really funny. Where are you from in Bulgaria? Uh, I am from a little town called Yambul. 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 Where's that in relation to Sofia? In so to Sofia, it's literally on. If you take the uh, motorway, it's actually on the other end of the country. Oh, okay. As far as possible. Yes. Okay. It's like a four-hour drive. <laughs> oh well, not that bad. Like from here to Bristol, or from here to Wales. Sort of, yes. From here to Wales. Birmingham. I'd say. No, further oh, than Birmingham. Birmingham. To Manchester. Yeah. Mm. Do you know, I'm so bad with distances. I don't get it. <laughs> no, I get what, like, the distances. Is, are you going to cut in front of me? What we are going to do is put up on the left in the red box. Okay. <laughs> that is the end of your driving test. How do you think you did? Iffy. Okay. Iffy. Talk to iffy. me. Why iffy? Well, I do think I did make a few serious mistakes. What were they? So we had... I don't check that mirror. I don't know what it is. I don't do it with you. You did it sometimes. But there was a couple of occasions where I had a, a snake. Um, manoeuvre. 
Maneuver, observation. Observation. So I'm going to give you a fail for that because you reversed back twice. Yes, And didn't check checking. around you. Easy to fix. And now we've talked about it. Yes. And you've, you've done it on a mock test with YouTube watching. Ooh. You're yes. going to remember it and get it right for your real test. Absolutely. Yeah. Your driving is so smooth and really slick. Gordon has obviously done a really good job. Yeah. Um, your driving test is on Monday. Have you got more driving lessons booked in? I do. I have one today okay. after this. How many more this week? I've got another one on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What, and then four more lessons? Th four more lessons today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Yes. So you're going to be absolutely fine. The main things that I would say to look for is slow down. Slow down, yes. Give way when you can if it's a meeting situation or at least consider it. I feel yeah. that you weren't even thinking about giving way. You were like, do you know who I am? <laughs> Nicole's Princess coming. of the road. <laughs> Nicole is coming through. <laughs> <laughs> End of story. Exactly. Will you let me know if you pass? Yes, I will. Okay. Will we have it in the video? Uh, yeah. If you won it, it, on okay. Monday. Let me know if you pass. Send me a pass photo. I'll let you guys know if Nicole passes as well. Um, if I have the video out before you actually do your driving test, yeah. then it will be in, it will be now. So keep watching. And if the video is out before you have your driving test, then check us out on Instagram at Driving School TV and Nicole's pass photo will be there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sick. Perfect. Guys, get in the comments, give Nicole some props, love and energy, uh, positive vibes only, because you've actually worked really hard and you're such I a have. sick driver. You did a couple of things wrong, but actually so easy to fix. Exactly. That parallel parking. <laughs> wow. Um, so. Fingers crossed. For Monday. Monday. Don't forget to drop a like on the video, leave a comment in the comment section and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification Under bell. There. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>